Hello and welcome back. One of the last things that I wanted to share with you is the value of the data signatures. Now, if you've been paying close attention in the last several videos, not one time did I talk about the numbers that are associated with the data sets. Not one time did I talk about the soil moisture at a percentage or at a certain level. Not one time. But if you go back and listen, there were several times that I talked about the graphs and the trends and the stair steps. These are all known as data signatures. And what I wanted to share with you in this video is the value of data signatures and watching for them at all given times. The value of a probe is not in the numbers. The value of the probe is in the signature of how the data moves. That's really what it is. Let's take a look at this graph and I'll show you what I mean. You'll notice here that the, the graph right here where this big long stair steps are and, the, and then the curves here, this is something that David Sloan, our chief agronomist, has identified as a true data signature and it's one to watch for and I'm going to show you a couple more in this video as we get going but let's start with David's signature here he shows a really aggressive stair step and then it starts to level off a little bit it starts to slow down the stair steps are doing that at each of the different sensor levels all the way down through the profile now what we want to watch for is how it stair steps really hard at different levels at different times. This is very, very normal. For example, when our upper profile at 16 inches is really drawing a lot of water, right here at 28 inches, we're a lot slower. But then all of a sudden, right here, when the top, when at 16 starts to slow down, 28 picks up. That data signature is showing us that the plants are doing exactly the thing that nature intended them to do. As those roots go deep into that profile, the deeper water picks up and draws in a lot faster as the upper profile starts to dry off. That's the way nature intended it. Now the real secret is, as you start irrigating, when do you pull the trigger? When do you pull the trigger and irrigate so that we can take advantage of the wet and the dry soil at the same time, knowing where we want to place that moisture? In fact, this graph is one that we'll talk about in the next video and probably our final video on how we time the irrigation at a specific rate. Timing and rate is everything with irrigation. So as we're watching these trends, these data signatures, it's telling us how the plant is responding to that environment at that moment. What we have to get really good at is interpreting what to do with the signature. Now, there's a couple other signatures I wanted to point out here. This one is tremendous to show us how we're chasing the moisture down into the profile. We're chasing that moisture deep, which is extremely important. There's also a time, though, when we need to look at the data signature like this one here. We irrigate at such a high rate that we can push water all the way down into that 36-inch root zone. This is an art. This is something that we have to get really good at understanding how to do without leaching it. We'll also notice that there's a signature over here. This data signature is really intriguing. It comes down, it's drawn water, it's drawn water all the way through the profile and then just overnight, it just stops. It just stops. That is an indicator that something happened to the plant. Something agronomically or environmentally happened to that plant to cause it to just stop, just shut down. And you'll notice then, even after this rain event or irrigation event, that plant never did draw water near as hard as it did here. Now, could it be, could it be that that was intentional? Could it be that maybe the farmer sprayed something and 
terminated the crop? Very possible. Maybe they sprayed something and just slowed down the crop. They just prevented the crop from continuing to grow. That can happen, and we're seeing the, the signatures of it. Now, you can also think about a plant coming into maturity. As it comes into maturity, it's going to slow down on water use. These are all data signatures that we want to learn how to watch, how to master, how to understand, so that when we see something, we're not looking at the number, we're not looking at the percentage, we're looking at the plant response. Remember, plants make farmers money. Moisture is a tool that plants use to get nutrition into its body, if you will. The plants use that to get into the plant body. And that's what we have to remember. We're watching the plants a lot more than we are just the soil moisture content. That's what all these data signatures do. They teach us how to watch the plants or soil health, soil structure, soil management. Those are the things that data signatures are all about. All right, I got one more video that I want to share with you guys, and that's on the next page. And it talks all about getting our rate and getting the timing right so that we can push water as deep as possible. So in the most stressful times of the season, we're ready with healthy, strong, well oxygenated and well wetted root zones. My friends, the wetting of the root zone is an art, but once you learn how to do it and you tie in some science with that art, you will become a master irrigator, a master plant manager, and a master profit producer.